I was able to land on my side. Uh, I may immediately went for the choke, but then in my mind, I'm like, okay, I can't choke him out because it's an assault in New York. How many times did you punch him in the back of the head? Zero. <laughs> Dude, my favorite part, bro. On my way to work, just got off the train. I noticed two construction workers walking towards me. And then the third man walks behind them and literally from behind, sucker punches him in the side of the face. Apparently he hit an older man and a younger kid prior to him hitting this construction worker. So I'm like, okay, I mean, I, as a martial artist, I feel like I, I'm responsible because I feel like I needed to uh, you know, stop this guy because who knows he's gonna hit again. So we start following him. I see him a block away. Uh, and I immediately in my head, you know, you're talking about the mental aspect. It's like, how do I address this? Do I confront him? And if I confront him, it's gonna be a fist fight or worse, a knife fight or a gun fight, which I'll definitely lose. And so my jujitsu uh, training just kicked in and I immediately just jumped on his back, seatbelt position. I was able to land on my side. Uh, I may immediately went for the choke, but then in my mind, I'm like, okay, I can't choke him out because it's an assault in New York. So I immediately transitioned to his wrist control, both hands. Um, and during the transition, I was able to just get on his back and face down and uh, hips on his back. And he was immobilized in less than 30 seconds. How many times did you punch him in the back of the head? Zero. <laughs> Dude, my favorite part, bro. Hold on. And that's just for the audience to know, besides being a black belt in jujitsu, you're also a black belt equivalent in Muay Thai. Is that fair to say you've been doing it for uh, it's, it's It's mostly Western boxing. Um, and I, I also, I'm a yellow belt in judo. I, I did boxing before you, I did. You boxing before you were doing jujitsu. That's correct. Wow. So, bro, so, talk us through this, bro. It's almost <laughs> like... If boxing was one girlfriend and jujitsu was another girlfriend, your boxing girlfriend feels cheated on right now. So to walk <laughs> through that, because she's like, honey, why didn't you use me for this encounter? I wish you would have. Talk to the boxing girlfriend right now how she feels. Sure. I mean, if I decided to punch him and he didn't hit me, then I am, uh, it's assault on my end. And if I do hit him in the jaw and he, you know, he cracks his head on the floor you know, and he dies, I'm 100% responsible for that. And I'm going from a savior to an assaulter. And also, even when I had his back, I know that um, police, some police officers are not allowed to compress on their chest. So even that I was just, I made sure that rather than my body weight being on top of his back, I literally placed my left hand on his sh left shoulder, just so that he couldn't get up. <laughs> some people talk about Oh, I don't want to learn jujitsu because I'm a lover, not a fighter. People think that because they're nonviolent in their spirit that they shouldn't do jujitsu. I hope that your amazing story gets people to realize that the truest lovers in society are the ones who know jujitsu. The of fact course. that you were able to take control, not throw a single punch, cause no permanent harm, neutralize him as an aggressor to other people and neutralize the liability to himself, assist in taking him into custody all while having the conscious mind not to place excessive pressure on his thoracic cavity puts you in a category of the top one-tenth of one percent of lovers in society. Imagine, Ro, you, martial artist, no jujitsu, same situation. Go. Oh, man. Uh, I mean, I saw it from the two people that were trying to help me. They were like, they didn't know how to uh, engage the situation. They were just looking at me. They were looking at each other. I was looking at them and I, I knew that I had to take leadership in the situation and just like take full control of it because these guys had absolutely no idea where to even begin. Even though they had the best intentions, Correct. they had the poorest strategy. They didn't have the absolutely. skills to execute safely for themselves and for the civilian, the human being that they were interacting with. Absolutely. Absolutely. Right, so here's the deal as a token of appreciation from the, you already black belt, you already know all the secrets, <laughs> but I did see that you were a women empowered student on Gracie university. I am. Oh, I am. <laughs> I know. I, saw, I checked you out. I'm like, Dude, I'm women empowered. so tell us why you got the women empowered program and what benefit you've seen in that program. Just because being an Asian American, uh, living in New York city, uh, there, I, I know a lot of people and I've experienced, uh, harassment myself and, I was concerned about some of my students and also some of the people that uh, that are in the gyms that have come to me and like, hey, can you do uh, a self-defense course? And so once in a while, I do a self-defense course for the public um, at donation base. I think that your system uh, and I and I 
I will uh, promote your 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 system because I think it is a great system in order for you to be able to use jujitsu as a new a new person uh, being entered into jujitsu. Some of the moves that you do are are quite effective in the streets. Yeah, and as you know, I, I mean, if, if me and Hiron and the Gracie University has any classification, it's an emphasis on jujitsu for self-defense. When it comes to jujitsu for self-defense, it's very simple. The techniques are very limited that you actually have to know. You don't have to train for 10 years to defend yourself. And I think whether it's women empowered that you've seen, Gracie combatives, Gracie bullyproof, these are the distillations of jujitsu down to very set curriculums, limited curriculums that allow beginners with no experience to learn in the least amount of time the techniques they need to stay safe in a situation like the one you encounter, because even the situation you were in, the techniques are so basic. It's Correct. over under, it's back <laughs> with hooks. That's lesson number four, rear naked choke, lesson number five. So it's so basic what someone actually needs to know that I think the, the general public is, is mistaken in their belief that someone has to do jujitsu for 10 years, Correct. get a black belt, and then you can be like Roe. No, you can be like Roe and defend yourself and your friends with very limited knowledge if it's the right knowledge and it's emphasizing self-defense, not some sport BJJ techniques, which might have a limited applicability if that's, that's all they've learned. Well, I was thinking about doing an Imanari role, but I don't know how my face would uh, <laughs> be after that on the concrete. <laughs> hey, so, um, so listen, as a token of my appreciation, just for you existing in the family of jujitsu and being so gentle with your, with your, with your use of force, my favorite thing to see. Uh, I want to just gift you in your Gracie University account that you already have the 32 principles of jujitsu, as well as Gracie combatives, the full beginner curriculum and, uh, and just enjoy that material as a small gift. I would really appreciate it. Yeah, man. Thank you. Appreciate it. My pleasure, bro. Thanks for everything. We'll appreciate you. We'll see you soon. If you're ever in Los Angeles, we got you here. Come train in Torrance at Gracie University. Just make sure when you get that seatbelt and that choke on my neck, you let go when I tap out. <laughs> Thank you so much, guys. <laughs> Thank you, brother. Please. <laughs> Gracie Combatives DVD box set, you guys. 13 DVDs plus the poster plus the handbook discontinued. Originally launched in 2008. We're done, you guys. We're not going to be making Gracie Combatives DVDs anymore. So if you're one of the very few people who still owns a DVD player and you don't own the box set but you love DVDs, now's the time to get down. 50% off. Because we're down to the very last batch, check this out. We got these ones right here. We got the one I'm holding right here. This one could be yours. And then we got a few boxes up here. Once these are gone, they're gone. So if you own a DVD player, but you don't own Gracie Combatives, now's the time to get down. If you don't own a DVD player, get the box set anyways, because it might be worth something on eBay one day.